Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. So the big entertainment news today is that Paramount Plus might merge with Peacock. How many places has it been rumored they're merging with? I don't know. This this one is like we know Paramount's for sale, right? They just laid a bunch of people off. We did a video about that. And Paramount's uh, gonna mount the cock. Paramount's I was gonna, gonna say what they're the gonna cock. call it. Mount cock. Parapy. I don't know. Uh, PP. PP. Oh my God! They're called PP. PP plus. PP plus. <laughs> yes, we're gonna piss in your mouth. You're gonna like it. You're gonna pay us double for that every month to get PP plus. Um, yeah. So this is coming from let me see, Wall Street Journal, and it said that the uh, the two companies have explored a commercial partnership or joint venture among the arrangements. So let's talk about that. We're gonna talk about some of the uh, collateral damage of the Paramount layoffs, which we talked about the other day. Uh, Noggin is getting shut down. Remember Noggin? We used yes, to watch Noggin. Yes, I didn't know Noggin. it was still around, honestly, to be fair. I, I mean, didn't know it was kids either. Kids used to love it. Yeah, Noggin was basically, it was like uh, Nick Jr., but all the time, but they had other shows on too. And the kids used to watch it quite mm -hmm. a bit. When they were little, it was a long time ago. I remember all the little, uh, you know, interstitials they used to have and the bumpers and it's Noggin. And they had Franklin and all that stuff on there. But anyway, they're shutting that shit down. Because, you know, whatever. Um, so we'll talk about all this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. It's Hollywood Highlander. And Which know. we said was going to happen. Oh, my God. Like we said this when they all started announcing their own streaming services. We are like, it's going to happen. Yeah, there can be only one or two. But maybe woohoo, two. by the way. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> like you, uh, not me. you started setting up the woohoo. I should have set the woohoo up. And you got distracted. I got anyway. distracted by, uh, by, the the pee -pee. Um, by the fact they could call this pee pee or uh, Mount Cock. Or Paracock. Paracox. Welcome to Paracox. Get it from the front and behind. Anyway, uh, they're talking about uh, uh, joining forces and streaming streaming PP through a partnership or joint venture among several potential strategic options the entertainment company is pursuing. Basically, everybody is running out of fucking money. So they're all merging to survive. Basically, which is what we said would happen. Like sad devastator. Too many, and they were just going to highlighter themselves, and that's exactly what's going on. At that point, you had to ask yourself, why do it at all? You know yeah. what I mean? You're just going to merge into other people, other entities, not people. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're going to merge anyway. So why didn't you just keep making content and just, you know, stay where you're at? Because you're just like... I don't you, know. You've accomplished nothing by the time it's over. It's like a kid that runs away from home and then they just wind up like going down the street to like the neighbor's house or something. Yeah. Like you just, if you just stayed on Netflix or, or whatever, Amazon or whatever, and just made content... For Netflix, but no, no, no. You all thought you could easily compete with with Netflix. It's like they had the infrastructure. Like, right. what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? And there's too many of you and not there's enough money for people. So, yeah, they're talking about how Paramount Plus is home to Star Trek. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> like that's, a, that's something to brag about? Yeah, that's nothing to brag about. Now, The but, Office is pretty popular still. But they're rebooting that, aren't don't, they? Don't. Don't. Just don't. I guess it'd be a re-reboot if you count the Ricky Gervais version. Well, I guess. But I'm just like, oh, God. stop. Bringing the two streaming apps under one roof could uh, produce significant cost savings from spending on programming to marketing and create a more in-depth offering for consumers, especially with regard to live sports. A commercial... Why is everybody so obsessed with live sports? Well, Super Bowl. Super Bowl made a ton of money. That's why. Uh, everybody wants live sports. And wrestling, which I guess is kind of, kind of a sport. I don't know. I'm not a sports person, so I don't get it. But okay. But then what, what's Disney going to do? Like, oh, we're no, gonna, we're, we're gonna, well, they're going to go Warner Brothers Discovery and Fox for live sports. That's so dumb. It's just confusing. Like what? I don't even understand what you're doing. Nobody understands. It was so much easier when we just had like four networks and cable and PBS. And that was it right now. It's like 55,000 streaming services and they all cost like 10 or $15 a month. We're <laughs> having lots of P's and BS. Lots of P's and pluses and BS. Commercial partnership or joint venture among the arrangements companies could pursue entertainment companies across the industry are exploring new streaming bundles and ventures to gain <sighs> scale, attract more customers and help alleviate the costs of running their own shit. But it's going to keep merging everybody together to help alleviate costs and then, you know, make bundles so that we think we'll give people a deal and they'll be more willing to subscribe. Yeah, but again, let's be honest. People had all of this on Netflix. People had all of this on cable, and we're going right back to it. 
Mm -hmm. Right back to the same damn thing, because this, this whole uh, combo sports thing, this, this is like a bundle on cable. You get all these sports networks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and everything's got ads now. You used to pay for streaming and it didn't have ads. You could watch what you wanted to watch. Nope. Now you got to have ads even on your, you know what I'm saying? Amazon's yeah. getting sued for that. Uh, Paramount and his parent company, National Amusements, have been exploring a range of potential strategic options in recent months as the entertainment company owner Paramount and Nickelodeon and MTV faces continued headwinds in the media industry dominated by bigger players. Basically, what we said was going to happen, happened. You know, you, you, you launched a streaming service and you got your asses kicked, which, shocker. 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 And here they're talking about streaming prices with ads, without ads. Hulu with ads. Where, how how are you paying eight dollars for that? Hulu well, ads without TV, right? Because live TV, mm -hmm. Hulu goes from being like fifteen or twenty dollars a month to like freaking a hundred dollars a month. It's insane. Uh, Max, Netflix, Paramount Plus. I forget we even had Paramount Plus. The only thing I watched on it uh, was Picard season three. I think is like literally the only thing I've watched. But if they it. merge together, are they going to keep the price the same? Probably not. They're probably going to raise the price too. Yeah, probably. Probably, but there, there have been rumors that Paramount was going to merge with HBO and then Paramount's going to, you know, and then HBO is going to merge with Peacock and uh, it's like, come on guys. There, there, there's stocks down 50% in the past year. It's below $13 Oh a yeah, share. it's it's bad. You know, maybe if your shows were good. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> maybe more people. So if we merge with somebody else, maybe we'll have more shows. Maybe if they're probably looking at this, like Paramount is looking at Peacock and they're like, maybe if they merge with us, we'll, you know. We could raise the price and have more people and have more, you know, uh, that, our shares will go up. They're just, they don't know what to do. Look, this is. I could have told you what to do. Shouldn't have done a streaming service. Nelson Peltz was right, but he was right about everything. It's not just Disney. It's all these companies. None of them know what the fuck they're doing. None of them. They're just, and meanwhile, Netflix is like, yep, we're just going to get some more Korean shows and we're just going to keep on keeping on. Do, 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 do. Here's our comedy. Can't cancel us. Do, 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 do. Apple, they're all getting Korean shows, like more yeah. K-dramas. Apple Plus has, as I mentioned before, Marry My Husband, which I highly recommend. It's very different from the comic, but it's good. I highly recommend you marry your husband, too. No, it's Marry My Husband. She's trying to offload Oh, she wants, no. Because he's an asshat. Well, anyway. I, I am an asshat. I am your husband. Please don't get rid of me. I wasn't planning on it. Okay. Um, That's my new show. I'm an asshat. I am your husband. Please don't get rid of me. <laughs> um, but I know I'm an asshat. I'm, I'm a lovable asshat sometimes. Let's talk about Noggin. Let's talk about Noggin. <laughs> uh, noggin is shutting down completely. So I didn't even know they were still around, but I didn't it was, either. it was kind of fun back in the day. The day. So been watching little kids shows for a long time. So we were, uh, taking a trip down memory lane, uh, pinky boo and I okay. the other day because they brought littlest pet shops back. Mm -hmm. She's very excited about that. And, uh, she loves pet shops. She loved little pet shops. And then she got really upset because the pet shops when she was little, they changed them from bobble heads to like, uh, ball jointed heads and they yes. look like fruit. They she were is, pets that looked like fruit, and it was weird. It, she is, you know, completely on the side of bobblehead. Yes. Pets. Well, they brought the bobblehead pets back at a reasonable price. It's almost like Hasbro. We've got a toy video come up this weekend. Uh, Hasbro it seems like they're 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 getting a clue finally, and they're actually offering people what they want at a reasonable price. But they brought the pet shops back, so we started talking about noggin. And pet shops and the YouTube channel she used to watch back in the day. It was people doing like drama with the pet shops. <laughs> yeah. And then um, we started talking about the hub. Before Pornhub, it was Discovery Kids Hub or whatever it was. It was all the Hasbro <laughs> Not to shows. be confused. No, no. And uh, Noggin came you know, Hollywood up. Hollywood thinks of the same thing. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, so we talked about Noggin. And I like Noggin. I used to watch a lot of Noggin with the kids. But, um, yeah, they're shutting it down. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, so it's eight hundred. They're part of the eight hundred staffer. Yeah, cut. all of them. Mm -hmm. They're all gone. The app is going to stop taking on new subscribers. I think that's it. I think they turned it into an app. It used to be a, a network. It was basically just. It Nick, was a network. Yeah. Yeah, it was Nick Jr. But like all the time. Um, but they're going to stop taking on new subscribers, and they'll shut her sometime later this year. Uh, first reported by the publication Kid Screen. Yes, they had Blues Clues, Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig reruns, basically. They had some other stuff, too. Then they had another one that was like, a oh, PBS Sprout. We used to, Sprout. We used to watch it. Well, they're going to take the, the, the programming, and they're going to move it to uh, the Nick Jr. banner. 
under Paramount Plus. But that's all. But they're still gonna get it if you have Paramount Plus. Yeah, that's all it really was. I mean, to be honest, it was just it was just like another. It was kind of like Boomerang, but for Nickelodeon, it was like it was just the same stuff they had in Nick Jr. just all that time. But it was fun. We used to watch it because you could watch the kids shows at like you know you could leave 10:30 it on there at night. And you could leave it on there. And know your kids were you know. Yeah. They were okay. Compared to Disney Junior, which now you got to kind of watch every. Well, you have to watch Nick Junior too because some of the shows on there are kind of like, what the hell are you teaching our kids, guys? Uh, what are you doing? But yeah, back in the day, you could. You could just leave it on. Little Bear and Franklin, all that stuff. But it's all gone. Those days are gone. So uh, yeah, a lot of people gone from Paramount. Uh, we don't know what's going to go on, but uh, uh, it's Hollywood Highlander, guys. There it is. I can't if- wait to see what they call this one. I can't wait. I hope they call it Mount Cock. They're not going to call it Mount Cock. Cock and chill. They got to get rid of They're P-Mount. not going to call it P-Mount either. They're just going to call P-Mount. it probably Oh my P- God, P-Mount. P-Plus. P-Plus. P-P-Plus. There we go. Going to wrap it up. P-Squared. P-Squared. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.